Hey guys, I have a new art supply to share with you. These are the two newest watercolor palettes by Art Philosophy and Prima Marketing. They're called Terrain and Currents. So what we're going to do is open these up and do some color swatches. Oh, I'm so excited. New things. Okay. Beautiful green color on the sticker. And this is Currents, beautiful blue. Their packaging um, is changing, and I think it's great. I think they're like rebranding or something, but I really like it. Okay, so let's just do one at a time. I think I'm going to take Terrain first. Okay, so what you guys are probably noticing first is that the swatch card has changed. I really don't like this because it doesn't coordinate what um, the colors are down here. It's, it just doesn't. I, I'm really confused why they would do this. Usually you have all of your colors on the top row here and all of the colors on the bottom row here and it's easy to find what you need. This just doesn't make any sense to me why they would do this. But, okay, that being said, let's just move on. The colors are beautiful. Let's swatch them out. Okay, we're going to do one at a time. We're doing this one first, and then we'll get to the currents. I'm going to get my pipette. I really like to do this. I fill my pipette, pipette up with water. This is much... Um, less mess than getting the, I know a lot of people will, will do this. They'll get a spray bottle and they'll just mist their entire pan. I don't like that. It's messy. You get, you get water where you don't really want water to be. So I get a nice little pipette, put a little water on each one, and that's just how I Okay, so I'm going to swatch my colors with a Winsor & Newton Cotman number 10 flat brush. Okay, so I guess this is Fern. <laughs> you know, it's just so strange that this little card right here, but we're just going to go with it. Okay, the, the colors re-wet very nicely. Oh gosh, this is great. What a great color. Okay, that's beautiful. The next color is called Spanish Moss. Okay, so green is my favorite color. Well, besides black. But to paint with, <laughs> to paint with, green is my favorite color. Okay, so there's not much difference in those two colors. Um, the, the Spanish Moss has a little bit more brown to it, I would say. The Fern is a little bit brighter, but they're very, very close in color. Oopsie, look what I did. I contaminated my colors. Let me just do a little dollop. There, that's, that's fine. Okay, so this is called Spanish, no, this is vine leaf. Okay, so I need to actually go back and tighten up these pans. You see how they're they're um, moving around in my pan? I can push them around. I, sh I really shouldn't be able to do that. So I'm gonna pull these out after they're dried down and pinch in this little tab right here to make them nice and snug. Okay, so vine leaf. Well, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice like sap green. It's an earth tone. Um, it's, a, it's on the olive brown side. I really like that. The next color is early spring. So let's see. It's a lighter green. You know, if, uh, if you know how to mix colors, you can all you would really need is one color and 
use the rest of your browns and things like that and yellow ochre and probably be able to mix all these colors but if you don't know how to mix colors um, this this set is great and I actually love Prima marketing because you sometimes you just you don't want to have to think about it you just want to dip into your color and get the color you want but um, they do mix well and I'll do that in a minute but but anyway what am I talking about <laughs> sometimes I just ramble okay the next color is called willow tree now that is a color I've never seen before in my palette so I appreciate that I like when I get a color that I don't have already so willow tree is a very light uh, yellow green okay we're gonna move on to it says blue shadow so let's see what this is about it's raining outside I love the sound of rain okay blue shadow is a nice dark very dark blue and I I really like that color it's a good color you can do a lot with that um, sour wood sour wood that's an interesting color it's a um, it's a brick red it's an earthy brick red okay let's move on to let's see this is called crab apple you know I bought a crab apple tree and it died and I I don't know what I was thinking I just thought oh an apple tree let's get that we can have apples well they're terrible does anybody out there <laughs> out there in the world y'all eat crab apples because mine were just not good okay so I do like that color that's a that's a really good that's like a flesh tone that's it's a beautiful color okay next is called maple okay like I was saying before the camera cut out I love this purple that this is my favorite shade of purple it's called purple smoke tree and it's absolutely gorgeous I'm thrilled with this color oh my goodness okay the next color is called sassafras let's see let's see this one this looks like yellow ochre yeah this looks very much just it's a yellow ochre color but it's called sassafras okay so let me just say here um, the top colors right here are shades are green I love green greens like my favorite color but you can really if you know how to mix colors you can achieve all of these yourself with one shade of green then I'll just say that the bottom colors right here I think are fantastic they're fantastic and look how well they all go together I think Prima marketing does that really really well they, they they put colors together that work so well together and are beautiful so I am just absolutely thrilled with all these colors down here um, I, the greens you know they're, they're good they're good greens but I'm not I, I wouldn't buy this palette for the greens I would buy the, this palette just for these fabulous colors down here and uh, I, I think I'm gonna use this this palette for my next watercolor I just really want to get into these colors and this purple right here I mean oh that is great that's a great great purple so I'm gonna set this aside to um, so my swatches will dry and let's get into the currents colors this is supposed to be like the colors of the ocean okay so there we go let's get our pipette and wet our colors I'm so excited to see how these swatch out I love swatching colors so satisfying okay so here we go clean my 
brush and we're going to dip into Seaside. They re-wet so nicely. If you guys out there are just watching this and um, have never bought a Prima Marketing watercolor palette before, they're great. Let me just say that right now. They are great. I highly recommend these. I think they're fun. Um, and I love to have all these little watercolor palettes um, filled with just unique colors together. Okay, so let's move on. Blue Whale. Okay, so this blue right here, Seaside, is a great basic blue. That's a, that's a good blue. Let's go to Blue Whale. This palette obviously has a lot of blue in it because it's supposed to be like the colors of the ocean. Oh my gosh, look, that is a great blue color. Now it's very different from this blue right here. Um, as you can see, this is, Blue Whale is much more indigo. This is more of a really dark ultramarine blue, but this is much more indigo. Love that, that's a great blue. Okay, the next is called Ocean. Okay, this has a lot of like turquoise to it. That's a good blue too. Okay, the next color is called Turkish Sea. And I can already tell this has a lot of green in it. Yep. Well, it is green. <laughs> it's called Turkish Sea, but it is definitely a green. Okay, now we have Jellyfish. Jellyfish. I didn't know jellyfish were blue. Um, this is just a great, like an ultramarine blue. Okay, now we have Caribbean Sea. Very green. But I like it. Next is called Kelp. Very bright green. Well, it's dark, but it's bright. Um, the next is called Sea Glass. Okay, now we have sea green. The next color is called algae. This is a good olive green. That's a really nice, that's a really nice olive green. I like that. Now we have deep sea. I wonder if you guys can hear all the rain outside. It's really raining. Deep sea is a extremely, really dark, dark navy blue. Wow, that is a pigment rich blue very very intense I, I'm wondering if on camera you're seeing you're seeing black it's not black it is definitely a super dark blue let me try to lift some of this color up so you guys can see that it is definitely a blue color let me try to lift it up just a bit so you can see it is definitely a blue okay so the next color is called Blue Fin. Okay, another really dark blue. Um, if you want a, 
a really good palette for painting water, painting, um, painting the ocean. This is great. All of these colors, you don't have to worry about mixing your own colors. They've got it all going on for you right here. Um, so I do think this is a great palette if you just are painting something with lots and lots of blues and greens. Go for this palette. Um, I mean, it's a good palette, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not, um, I'm not feeling excited about it. This color palette, I'm, I'm really excited about these colors uh, down here at the bottom. These are very, um, this is your fall color palette. Uh, think of like foliage, fall, you know, the colors turning, the, um, the leaves turning colors, and you want to do a beautiful fall scene. I would grab this color palette. This is a great color palette. The greens, um, the greens, I'm just not, to, to be honest, I'm not thrilled because I could, I can mix these myself. Um, but like I said, if you're not into mixing colors, if you're new to watercoloring, this is great because it's already done for you. But I am thrilled with all these, these color selections right here put together in a palette because I could just grab this if I want to do some fall leaves and they're just, it's going to be great. This is great. So they did a really good job with this color selection. Like I said, right here, um, this is a color palette really specifically if you're going to, going to be painting water. Um, otherwise, there's not much else you're going to be able to do with this watercolor palette right here. This is a very specific watercolor palette. You get for a... Oh my gosh, my camera just cut off. Okay, like I was saying, I do think it's important um, for you guys to be able to see things like this before you go out and spend your money on art supplies because you just, you just want to know, right? So anyway, this is a very specific watercolor palette. Um, just so you know that going in, you're not going to be able to create a lot with the, just these blues and greens. This is for if you're going to be painting water and you want to just grab this and um, and just use this for that purpose because there's not a lot of color. I mean, well, it's just blues and greens, so you're you're not going to be able to be creating a full landscape with this. Okay, this color palette I think is much more versatile. Um, there's lots of different colors to choose from. If you grab this palette, I would grab it for doing a fall scene. These are all really great fall colors. This purple is just fantastic that's a great purple um, so so yeah this color palette like I said specifically for water um, buy it for that purpose if you really need help mixing colors and this is a great for fall so all in all I love philosophy I love is that what you call it hmm, yes it is art philosophy by Prima marketing they kind of did like a little rebranding here um, but I will continue to collect their watercolor palettes I think they're I think they're really great and a lot of fun so um, I hope you guys enjoyed my color swatching video and I will see you later bye